Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a neat trick that you guys can do on your Camtasia videos. Alright, so I'm here in Camtasia right now, and I just wanted to show you guys this neat thing that you guys can do with backgrounds on Camtasia to, to give your videos a much cleaner and sleeker look and it makes it look a little more professional. So if you film on a webcam like I am right now and you're doing screencasts and everything, your screen's going to also show up on the video as well as the actual video. So you can see my screen and the video at the same time. Now that's really cool, but let's say you're not showing anything on the screen, but you still have that. I'm going to show you what you can do with your videos to spruce them up and make them look a lot cooler and sleeker. So I'm going to do an example right here. I've got the a video here that I did on uh, Merch by Amazon. If you don't know what that is, it's like a t-shirt thing. You, know, you can make t-shirts with Amazon. So what I always do is I change the dimensions to 1280 by 720. And this is a really simple thing that you guys can do with your videos. So when you, as you can see when you load it up, right, it's got me in the video and then my desktop in the background. Now what I'm talking about has nothing to do with what's on the screen so I don't necessarily need that background. So what first thing you can do is if you don't need what's on the screen, if you don't need your computer screen, just delete it. So how you delete it is this says camera and this says screen. So this is the desktop. So I'm just going to click delete and right away it's a lot cleaner. You got the black background but right now you just have the video which is you and a black background. So here are a couple of options that you can do to add to this. Now if you notice when we watch our videos we do not, I'll, I'll show you, we do not enlarge our video footage to fit the entire screen. So we don't like to do that just because I don't think it looks very good personally. I actually like having it smaller but adding to the background and I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is the size that the video, our webcam video usually comes in and if you're curious as to what webcam we use, we use the Logitech C930E. Um, it's on the higher end but it's really good quality. So right now what I would do with this is, there's a couple of things, so I'll show you different variations. So. One thing you can do is to add a call out and sorry I went too fast I'll just show you that again. So you want to add a call out to this video and it's a little rectangular box that goes around the video and it outlines it and it just it adds to the sleekness and it just it looks cool when you can match it with let's say your logo colors. So if you notice I always use the color purple because our, our logo colors are white, purple, and black. So I'm going to make this purple and I'm going to fit this around the screen. And I just do it very like a tight um, outline around the screen. I don't do it huge because then it doesn't look as good. So right now I'm just fitting it and you just grab the little circles and pull where you want it to go. The side's a little bit bigger. All right, so, okay, that's good. Um, the bottom is a little bit bigger. And when you play around with it, you'll get used to, you know, sizing it accordingly. So let's just say that's good for now. Let's escape. So as you can see right there from, let's, let's remove it there for a second. Let's say this isn't there anymore, right? Let's pretend like it's not there. See, compared to having the box, I think it looks a lot cleaner, locks, looks a, <laughs> locks. It looks a lot more polished. Um, so that's one thing that you can do with your videos. I'm going to just delete this and I'll show you another cool thing that you can do. So another thing that you can do is by adding a simple rectangle. It's called a simple rectangle. And the thing with Camtasia is because this is on top of this 
file. So this one is on top of this one. That's exactly what's going to happen on screen. But we don't want it to be on top. We want it to be behind the video. And I'll show you. That might be confusing, but I'll show you what I mean. So when I take this and I put it down here below, it's actually behind the video now. And then what I can do is pull it out. And I don't know if you guys know what I'm getting at here, but this also creates a cool effect. And you can change it to whatever color you want. If you don't like these colors on the palette here, click for more fill colors and you can just go crazy on the rainbow. Again, we choose purple because this matches with our brand and our logo. And as you can see, well, this is a really bad still of me. Um, but let's let's not look at the, the still of me. But basically, when you add a rectangle in the background, just going straight across, it gives it like a cool feel. It looks a lot better than when it didn't have it at all. And I'll show you here. So I'll move the cursor. So here, I, there's no background at all. It's just plain. It's okay. But when you have this, this looks a lot cooler and a lot sleeker. Now, you don't have to have this rectangle going across um, width-wise. You can have it going vertical if you want. You can have it off to the side. You can have it off to the top. You can move it however you want. Right now, I like it here. So what I do is I actually extend it a bit longer. And I actually like it just like this. And it looks really cool in the videos. It gives it a great effect. Another cool thing that you can do is, let's say you're talking about some points and you're like, let's say you got like top five points or something. What I like to do when I'm talking about points or I want to get the message across with text as well, is I will take the video of me and I'll move it over to the side, off to the side so that I have this area for text. And I'm actually, I would actually make this just a little bit smaller so that I have room for text. So then let's say I'm talking about point number one, I would add some text. So again, you go out to the callouts and you choose the text file. And let's say number one, test point. We'll just do that. Number one, let's, I'm talking about number one, the test point. What I do is I bold it and again, I make it match our logo colors. So our logo colors are white, purple, and black. So the text I want to be white. It can be black if you want um, and definitely can't be purple because you already have this background purple. So let's put this here and I would straighten it out. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. It looks like a PowerPoint slide and you can change it up. So whenever you're on to point two, you just change the text and it pops up and it fades out on the screen. You can have it slide in if you want. You can do a lot of cool things. And again, I'm just gonna show you without. So if you just have it plain, it looks like this. So it's pretty bland, there's nothing going on, or it can look like this. Now. I didn't do much to it. All I added was a simple rectangle going across the width and some text to um, amplify what I'm saying. So that is a couple of tricks that you guys can do to add to your videos to give them more of um, a polished professional look. It definitely makes a difference. I notice when people put effort into editing their videos, when I see someone who adds these kinds of things or someone who doesn't, um, it definitely stands out to me and it makes your presentation a lot clearer. All right, guys. Well, if you like these types of videos on Camtasia, I have lots of Camtasia tutorials. Please head down to the description below. Check out my other playlists. I've got tons of videos for you guys. All right, guys. Well, if this video was helpful for you, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.